Hi there, I'm Camilla Braithwaite, Product Manager at Resitec. I'm here to talk to you about how Resitec's dam monitoring product uses geospatial AI to provide our customers with actionable insights remotely, at scale and cost effectively. The effects of a more extreme and unpredictable environment on this aging infrastructure is largely unknown. But as more people live and work downstream from a dam than ever before, more focus is being put on dam safety. Traditional methods of monitoring cannot be scaled up to give a deep enough understanding of your dams. A different approach is needed. And it may not be the one single solution, but we believe that geospatial AI should be an important part of the dam monitoring toolkit. Our dam monitoring solution empowers operators to dynamically manage the integrity and safety of your entire asset base. It tracks vertical ground motion in millimetres and vegetation as a proxy for seepage. The three-year retrospective analysis provides you with a historic data set that gives an understanding of what is a normal baseline for each dam. This is used to identify a threshold for what's abnormal or anomalous behaviour. And monthly updates mean that engineering can track evolving issues with regular consistent data. This provides a more data-driven approach that helps prioritise resources and optimise spend. We give our customers access to our interactive dashboard with detailed information about trends, seasonality, rate of movement and anomalies. And users can dynamically interrogate the data using filters and charts to zero in on what matters. Our product looks at two indicators that could signal potential failure, ground motion and vegetation. Ground motion monitors vertical movement and it highlights anomalies that can indicate problems such as foundational issues and subsidence that could lead to overtopping. Radar data from Sentinel-1 is used to monitor ground motion with millimetric accuracy. The satellite pair covers the entire globe every 6 to 12 days. Vegetation vigour and moisture highlights anomalous changes that may indicate seepage or leakage and this uses optical data from Sentinel-2. Resitec used geospatial AI to provide dam owners, regulators and federal bodies with a greater understanding of their dam and ongoing monitoring. We take input data, such as synthetic aperture radar and optical data, which is collected across the dam at every 6 to 12 day orbit interval. We're data agnostic, so only choose the best data supply for the job. We can also combine other data sources from in-situ sensors or manual readings of water level or soil types and weather. The next stage is to look at the synthetic aperture radar phase data analytics and interferometric techniques which monitor ground movement. Orthogonal indexing uses optical data to calculate vigour and moisture as a proxy for seepage. Our Earth observation experts will clean up the data into a format that makes sense. Our data science teams take three years of historic data sets collected every six to 12 days and apply our advanced algorithms and machine learning techniques to establish patterns in the data and what is normal and what isn't. Next, we derive business insights from the, anal from the analysis such as risk assessments, and generate frequent and automated updates. This means it can easily be understood by anyone and can be used across teams. Finally, we present the results via our easy to use online interactive platform, which has a dashboard helping to summarize the data and allowing you to interact with it with a map to visualize the analysis on your dam. There are two key questions that we're often asked at Resitec. What's so special about satellite data? And how can you achieve millimetric accuracy? So let's answer these questions now. The power of any data science is having big data. The bigger the data sets, the more accurate the predictions and the quicker we can train the AI models we use. Satellite data can provide very large data sets, which is why we choose to use this. Satellites have been collecting radar data since the 1990s. 
However, it's really since the launch of the Copernicus satellites that the radar data, known as synthetic aperture radar, can be used to monitor ground motion with millimetric accuracy. Another of the Copernicus satellites, Sentinel-2, gathers visible and infrared data, known as multispectral data. This is used to monitor vegetation, moisture and vigour by comparing these two readings and identifying whether these correlate as you'd expect. Further analysis considers the periodicity of the two and identifies whether abnormal readings that may indicate seepage. So how can satellites achieve millimetric accuracy from so far away? The reason we can achieve this accuracy is using a method called interferometry. This method compares where we are on the phase wave from one acquisition to the same location on the subsequent acquisition. You can see the diagram shows two phase waves. They're only two inches or 50 millimeters in length. If you compare the peak of the left hand wave across the two different acquisitions, they're in slightly different positions. This difference in position on the phase wave is how we accurately monitor movement in millimeters. The difference is very small and it wouldn't tell us much in isolation, but analysing this data across the entire dam and over repeated acquisitions, we can identify trends and anomalies that give a unique understanding of your dam at the millimetric level. So our solution monitors for vertical ground motion and vegetation vigour and moisture across the crest, embankment and toe of the dam. This data analysis is then visualised on a base map using a layer of hexagons, each just over 2,000 square feet. This size allows us to provide confidence in the data analysis, but also allows our customers to identify the area of the dam that the readings apply to. For each hexagon, there is an indication of strength of seasonality, which is the effects of periods of heavy rainfall or drought on each part of the dam, has a rate of movement, and whether there's a strong trend for uplift or subsidence, or a trend in the vegetation. The location for that hexagon is provided in XY coordinates, but we can easily add longitude and latitude or chainage measurements too. We can also add in data that you have, such as water levels, to provide further context. The analysis shown here is the number of anomalies identified over a three year retrospective. In this case, we have used a 95% confidence interval that identifies readings outside this interval as anomalous. We work with the client to establish this a threshold that works for their dam. Any events observed on the ground in those past years can then be matched back to the data to validate the anomalies tally with real events on the ground. Our dam monitoring product gives you a clear and continuous picture of your entire asset base, enabling you to build a full risk profile of all dams using historic and current data. This provides dam owners with a detailed view of all assets and the ability to assess changes over time. Multiple data points combine with advanced analytics to deliver the most frequent, accurate insights on unusual changes in ground motion and vegetation change. This provides you with a resource-free and cost-effective way to track issues and developments between routine structural surveys. It is possible to build a complete risk profile for all your assets across a wide area, developing a detailed picture that can help change policies and prioritise investments. Drawing upon a repository of historic data, the advanced geospatial models perform risk analyses to look for trends and highlight risk areas. The service identifies sections of the dam with potential high risk to help dam owners point their inspection and maintenance teams to precisely the right place, targeting investment on remedial work that matters. This targeted approach not only lowers the health and safety risk to crews by reducing the amount of work necessary in dangerous locations, it also optimises their productivity when they get there. To discover how geospatial AI can support you and your organisation, get in touch today.